Charity shop hunting tips. So then, charity shop tips. So tip number one, as soon as you enter a charity shop, always do a little survey of the area before you go to the place that you really want to go to in that shop. So what I mean is basically just do a little pan with your eyes of the charity shop because you never know what sort of things are high up on shelves, that there might be a hidden gem right at the top of a shelf that if you just dart past it you wouldn't see it otherwise so my first tip is always pan around the charity shop before you actually end up going to the sealed media the electronics the clothing whatever is your sort of area So tip number two is something I like to call the sealed media swipe and basically if you don't know what this is it's where you swipe your hand across the media section the DVDs, CDs that sort of stuff um, and it, what you're looking for is sealed media so you're trying to swipe across the DVDs or the CDs or whatever and feel any DVDs, CDs games, anything like that, that is actually brand new and sealed. And sometimes when you cast your eye over them, you can actually miss the sealed DVDs and things like that. But if you actually put your hand across them, some people like to go across, other people like to go uh, across the spines. I actually like to go across the top. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really effective technique. And obviously, I'm going to show you an example as well. Um, so yeah, that's tip number two. number three is just getting down and dirty getting right down into those plush toy bins those clothing bins uh, any any sort of uh, containers in charity shops get right down and dirty inside them get right to the bottom because you never know there might be a, a really rare exclusive Disney store plush toy in the bottom of one of them uh, toy bins there might be a really nice pair of Levi jeans in the bottom of one of those big mixed jeans or mixed clothing uh, bins or bays um, or anything like that even if there's like a big box of books there might be a really rare book at the bottom of it so always have a look through the big bins the big tubs the big containers because you don't know what's in them
once you've found that hidden gem, go and get yourself some beer as a reward. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys, as always if you could give it a like that would be brilliant, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, drop a comment down below with any comments, questions or queries you may have and as always you can support the channel using my Amazon affiliate links down below. So I will leave it there guys and I will see you in the next one, so see you very soon guys.